There's some tomatoes growing there, and I built a frame out of bits of the palm trees you can see behind me that fell onto the ground. Tied it together with just a bunch of string that was left over from, I don't know, string activity. The point is, you can go to the shop and they sell stuff that supports plants that need support. Sometimes, it's literally a stick. Like, it is just a stick, and they want to sell you it. Sticks are f free on the ground. Just walk outside, grab a stick. Maybe it'll take you 30 seconds to trim some bark off and make it straight. They're trying to sell you sticks. Like, I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but the government trying to sell you sticks. I know it's not the government, that just sounded funny. Thinking about it further though, that's pretty nuts. People are so lazy, or maybe they're just so... They have such little confidence in themselves that they don't think they could walk outside and just find a stick that could do the same job as a stick they buy from a gardening store. Maybe it's about aesthetics. Maybe the stick at the gardening store is painted a nice shade of green or is really, really straight. This right here is a drawer from a some drawers that I smashed up for a video. That was pretty cool. I filled the drawer with dirt and I've grown tons of stuff in here. I've got nothing in it now because I just took out what I'd grown. I've grown lettuce, I've grown tons of stuff in here. You can buy raised garden beds for tons of money. You can just pour it in a drawer. Does that look nice? No. The point is, it holds dirt in it. This is a storage container. I think it cost me, I don't know, five bucks or something. In the very same store though, in a different aisle, they were selling something that was meant to be a raised garden bed that was pretty much the same size and made out of a similar material, except it was like triple the price. It's like no one actually stopped to think, hang on, you can put dirt in a storage container just because it's not meant for dirt. You could still put dirt in it. Would the cops know about it? A storage container can be a raised garden bed. A drawer can be a raised garden bed. I remember at university, I was in this lecture and it was for design. I don't remember why I was in it because I didn't actually study design. I th it had something to do with my course, I think. I was there and one thing really stood out. This guy was saying, what makes a chair a chair? Like, what are the design elements that make something a chair, a good chair? Someone put their hand up and said, you can sit on it. And he said, yeah, okay, you can sit on a log. Does that mean a log is a good chair? Someone said, oh no, well it has to have back support. And the guy said, oh cool, so just a log with another log stacked behind it. There you go, chair. Anyway, people had to keep clarifying and clarifying and clarifying way more than you'd think you would need to for something as simple as a chair. It needs cushioning, it needs to be able to resist certain weather, it needs to be movable, it needs to be a certain size, it needs to be a certain weight. The reason I bring that up is because next time you need something, think about exactly what you need it to do, and more importantly, what do you not need it to do? When I need a raised garden bed, I do not need it to look nice. I need it to hold effing dirt. When I need a stick for tomatoes to lean on, I just need a stick. I'll pull it off a tree. I ain't gonna buy a stick. There's two birds fighting each other there. Doesn't just have to be garden stuff. Anything in your life. Next time you need a new anything, think about what do I need it to do? What do I not need it to do? You'll probably be able to save yourself some money and be able to maybe do a little bit better for the environment by buying it second hand or using something much cheaper or just making something or just using something you've probably already got for something that it's not meant to do. Guess what? The government's not going to track you down. You can use storage containers to grow sweet potatoes in. I've done it. I'm actually not that good at gardening to be honest but 